Hey YouTube, it's Jim Wilson here, uh, and welcome to our first action figure review. Uh, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection MMPR White Ranger. Uh, yeah, so let's just get right into this and look at some details. So as you can see, we got this helmeted look, which I think looks really good. This came out insanely well. <laughs> Uh, we got this uh, tiger shield here. Uh, this looks really good as well. That's nice and detailed. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, this was Tommy's Ranger form in MMPR season two and three, I believe it was. Yeah, so this is what he looked like in those seasons. After all, he's in the Green Ranger powers, which I also have a figure of that, so. Uh, stay tuned for that, stay tuned. But yeah, this is, this is looking real good. I really hope that's focusing well. It's coming up really grainy on my side, so <laughs> hopefully this looks better when it actually comes out. We got some belt buckles here, that looks good. You may be wondering, the sword is, uh, it's, there was a sword that did come with this, but I'm gonna cover that in accessories. So we got boot design, but yeah, this is really solid, like, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the, uh, the legacy figures they did, I'm gonna have a picture of that coming up soon, so, but yeah, those figures did not have the proportions that these do, that these do, they're like super, like, wide and muscly, and it's just weird. <laughs> So yeah, uh, overall this is, this is really solid and uh, yeah, let's get to some accessories. Oh hey guys, this is uh, James from the future talking. Uh, I just filmed the rest of this review and I forgot to talk about articulation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you believe that in an action figure review I forgot to talk about the articulation. <laughs> Okay, but we'll fix that right now. So, the head goes up pretty far. About that, about that far. Rotates to the side pretty well. Full 360. And for the arms, we gotta bend over here. That bends twice and goes pretty far. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, also got a, oh, arm swivel and a wrist swivel right there. Uh, there are, there are butterfly joints, which are literally blessings from God, by the way. Uh, <laughs> in terms of posing figures, uh, it doesn't go too far because of the, uh, shield blocking it, so, uh, yeah. Also, the same flies on the other side. I believe there's also a hinge at the wrist. Yes, there is. There is also a hinge at the wrist for the gripping hand. And I believe for the fisted hand. Oh no, this doesn't have it. And for the legs. Oh, something just fell. I don't know if you heard that, but something just fell. So <laughs> I got picked by that. Oh, uh, legs go about that far. Can. And kick his own butt, if you know what that means. <laughs> if you know what channel that is, that's a uh, floosh, so. Uh, there's also a leg rotation here. Uh, foot does, foot can bend and does have ankle pivot. Oh, trying to put it back in, there we go. Legs also go that far and kick out like that. Can't really go back that far. And yeah, that covers articulation. Uh, I'm gonna take you back to uh, past James, so take it away, past James. Okay, and taking a look at accessories here. Uh, first off, we got some extra pairs. Oh, sorry, dropped that. We got an extra left hand, left fisted hand for that. There was also a right fist on there. I, I forgot to say that, so, uh, yeah, that'll be there. Uh, then we got this, uh, 
karate chop him. Oh, hopefully he's a plant. There we go. And yeah, get ready to see those a lot, because uh, yeah, there's a bunch of those in this line. Okay then, next we have the Saba Sword here. And this, this came out really good, I think. Like, that detail is really, cr really crazy in here. Uh, the molding's really well done as well. Come on, camera, focus up here. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta wake up to your camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys can see that. It's a sword blade here. That's also really cool. Then next we got this little translucent blast effect piece, uh, which you can put on either the end of the sword or the, uh, the karate top hand. Uh, either one of those works. So let's see if I can get this on here. I've almost got it. I see the hole. I see the hole that's in here. I almost got it. Okay, there we go. So here's what it looks like with the sword attached. And that looks really good. Like, uh, this looks really good in like photos and stuff. I've been doing a lot of those. Uh, yeah, it, look, it works really great with the Try with the karate chop in hand. Just gotta wedgie that in a little hole there. And then there you go. Yeah, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, last up, we have the Tommy head. Hopefully that shows up. Oh, come on, camera. <laughs> hey, and yeah, I think this came out good. really well for like, a hey, uh, season two, season three Tommy, like this looks really nice. Um, has a mold, but it's also a ponytail on the back, hopefully. That's showing off and has plenty of detail. And I'm going to go put the uh, uh, this head on the uh, White Ranger, so I will be right back. Okay, and we're back, so here's how the head looks on the figure and this looks really good like this took wow yeah. yeah sorry i've been glitching over all my words for some reason uh <laughs> yeah uh this looks really good for like this almost looks like the uh first scene time he comes out in his white ranger so yeah this looks really neat overall <laughs> there's a bag that look there's another side view yeah, I don't know if I said it already, but this looks really accurate to uh, Jason David Frank, so yeah, it's really, really nice solid for you, Real, really solid. Alright, next we'll do some big size comparisons with other figures. Okay, so MMPR White goes about, about maybe five to eight inches to the top of the sound. And here he is next to the Hugh Jack and Wolverine and Spider-Man Far From Home Marvel Legends. Uh, as you can see, uh, Hugh Jack and Wolverine goes about six inches to the top of his head. And uh, Far From Home Spider-Man goes about 5.5 inches. And here he is next to the Deluxe War Machine goes about mm, 7 inches to the top of his gun. Uh, also shout out to Louisiana Jones on uh, YouTube. He, he gave this to me for a birthday present. I don't know how long ago, so yeah, just dropping by. Okay, I have to change my camera position for this one. Uh, here he is next to the build a figure Professor Holt and build a figure Giant and Marvel Legends. Ooh, oh, sorry, I have you bounced on my lap, so, uh, I, yeah, Professor Hulk's about, hmm, 8.3 inches tall, and, try not to drop the camera, <laughs> and Giant Man's about, hmm, maybe 10.3 inches to the top of his head, so, there's that. So, yeah, overall, uh, final thoughts, um, I, I really love this figure. Um, this 
This was a really strong start to Lightning Collection reviews and uh, our channel reviews. Um, yeah, so if I had to give it a score, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10, honestly. Uh, uh, the details are really good. They're expertly painted on mine. Uh, the molding's really great. The head sculpt's pretty accurate. So. Uh, only thing is the arm articulation gets a bit limited by the shield, but, you know, that's kind of just stuff that happens, so, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, if you want more, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and yeah, I'll catch you next time on another review, peace.